Welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mixed Media. In this video, I have got loads to show you. In the previous video, I showed you how to install a camera into OBS Studio. Well, this time round, we're going to introduce a second camera. As well as the second camera, I'm going to show you how to create a picture in picture effect that has also got a board around it. If you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. So just make sure that all of your cameras that you're going to be using are already plugged in before you open OBS Studio. Right, let's go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen, click on the plus button, video capture. I'm going to rename my device. It's always good practice to name everything so then it's easier to find. So I'm going to name it Computer Cam. We're going to click on OK. Now normally, like we did last time, OK, we clicked on the device we want. This is the one that's already built into my monitor, so it's the USB camera. I don't need to configure anything else because it is just picture in picture at the moment. If you should so wish, you can go in and change all the sizes, but I'm going to keep it as the default. So instantly we have a picture in picture. If I want to resize it, I'm just going to go up to one of the corner red squares and then just simply drag inwards with my mouse and then I can reposition it wherever I want on the screen. Okay, so that's one method of adding a camera. The second one. Here we go. So we're going to go to the plus on the scenes and we're going to create ourselves a second scene. Okay, like always, I do suggest that you rename this one. Okay, so to rename it, just click on it, right click and just go to rename. And then we're going to name this one computer camera just so we know what it is. OK, we're going to go down the bottom again. We're going to click on the plus. We're going to go up to video capture. And then this time we are going to go in there and we are going to choose the computer camera. So that's a new source we're going to create. Again, I'm just going to go down to the drop down menu, click on my USB device, which is the one installed in my monitor. OK, and once again, we don't really need to configure anything if we don't want to but in this case we do so we're just going to click on custom we're then going to click on the actual canvas size which is 1280 by 720 so that's identical to what we're using on the other camera that we've already installed and then just scroll down add the audio information there and then you are okay so just click on the okay button and now we have a second scene. So we have camera one and camera two. So you can see here, I'm just switching between the two. So when we're cutting between the two cameras, it is what they call a cut, but we don't want that. So go down to scene transitions and it's got a drop down list and we're going to change it to fade. The duration there is 3000 milliseconds. Okay, so now when I click between the two, it's a real long fade between one camera shot and the other. So let's just change that and we're going to change the 3000 to 1000 and we'll see the difference instantly there. So it's a quicker fade between the two camera shots. OK, we're going to jump into an image editing piece of software and create our mask. So let's go for a canvas size of 1280 by 720, resolution 22, colour mode, RGB with a transparent background. OK, and then I'm going to go and find the circle tool to draw a circle. So that's sort of the size that I want it to be on the screen, maybe a little bit smaller. There we go, about there. OK, when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go and fill that with a color and now the color you want to fill it with has got to be black for the mask to actually work so i'm just going to select a color which is right down there which is the black press ok and again then that's going to fill that okay so we're just going to now go and crop that because obs will actually center this image in the center of the canvas so we just crop that like so and then we can just go and save that one so file save as obviously just be wary where you're going to actually pop this onto your computer so you can navigate to it from obs studio we're just going to name this one circle mask 
Go to the drop down for format and we're going to go PNG. PNG will say the transparent aspect of the file, which in this case is the background. So click on save and then go OK. OK, so that's the mask all done. Now we're going to concentrate on doing the border. So I'm just going to go and select the circle shape, which I've just done there. You can see what they call the running ants going around there. I've just created myself a new layer and that's what I'm going to be drawing the border on. Just going to stroke those running ants with a color of about 20 pixels. There you go. You can see that one perfectly. I'm going to go for another color here. So back down to stroke. I'm going to reduce the stroke width to eight pixels. I'm going to change that to a pink like so. Click OK. Click OK again. And hey presto, there we have our brand new border. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn off the mask there we go, and we can see the transparent background, both inside and outside of that border. I'm going to go File, Save As, and then I'm going to save that within the same folder as the mask. I'm going to call that one Border for Circle Mask. Just go to the format .png to save the transparent aspect of that file, and hey presto, we now have a border as well. OK, we're going to jump back into OBS. We're going to go to the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And like we did before, we are going to click on that plus. OK, we're going to scroll up there to source mirror. That's really important source mirror. We're going to create a file name for that. We're going to call this circle mask camera. OK, then click on the OK. And then we're actually going to define what that is. So it's actually our camera source, which is computer cam, because that's the picture in picture source. And then we have got everything in place. OK, for that. Now we want to go to filter. So click on filters, then click on the plus down the bottom there and then go up for image mask stroke blend. We're going to click on OK. We're going to navigate to where we saved the mask on our computer. There it is there, the circle mask. Click on open. We have a black box, a square. We don't want that. So click on the drop down on type and go to alpha mask. And hey presto, we're in a circle. So just click on OK there. So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to lock what is the full screen camera. So with the padlock just there. And I'm just going to grab the corner red square. I'm just going to resize my picture in picture. OK, to where I sort of like want it positioned on the screen. Then we're going to go back down. We're going to click on the plus. We're going to scroll up to image, which is just there. OK, and then what we're going to do here, we are going to go and search for our circle. So we're going to call this one a border for circle cam. And we're going to click OK. So then we're going to go and find that one on our hard drive, same place as before. I'm going to click on that one. There we have our border in place. So again, I'm just going to resize that one using the corner bits. You know, you can spend a little bit more time in getting this absolutely perfect. OK, so just so it covers. There we go. Everything perfectly. So as you can see down the bottom left hand corner of the screen, the image for the border is the top one. So once you actually have those two, then if you press the shift key and then click on both of them and then click um, right click and then go up to group selected. Now what we've actually done, we have grouped both the border and our picture in picture. OK, so we can now move that to anywhere we want on the screen. So we have our circle picture in picture, but maybe we want something a little bit more that reflects what we do, which is crafting. So what I'm going to do there, first of all, is just rename our group just so we know what it is. It's cam with border. OK, so like I say, it's always good to name everything. So we're going to go back down. OK, and we're going to click on the plus. We're going to go up to source mirror again. OK. We're then going to name that one and we're going to name this one Scribble Cam. OK, we're going to click on OK. Again, we're going to go and find our 
image that we actually want to use there, which is going to be within that, which is our computer cam. So that's the camera built into the monitor. OK, so there it is already done. Perfect. Then we're just going to go to filters. We're going to click on the plus there. Again, we're going to scroll up to image mask stroke blend. And again, just click on that one. And we just want to rename that scribble frame. We're going to click on OK and we're going to find our scribble. So it could be any shape you like. Again, it's all like pixelate around the edge. Just go down to alpha mask there in the type and hey presto, we're in a scribble frame. It's as easy as that. So that can be absolutely any image that you want as long as it's black. OK, that's the most important thing and it saves a PNG file. I'm just going to position that one over there and we're done for that. But maybe we want to bring those images on so they fade on nicely. So how do we do that? So just go down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and what you want to do there is just then right click on the item that you want to the transition. So we're just going to go to fade and at the bottom there you can see again it's the time. Go hide transition and again we're going to go fade then right click on cam with border show transition and we're going to go to fade and again right click hide transition and again go down to fade and then just turning on and off those eyeballs hey presto there we go both those pictures in pictures fade really really nicely on and off the screen in another video i'll be showing you how to control those with a little bit more precision but until then i hope you've liked this video and if so please click on the like button subscribe to my channel click on the notifications this will inform you of all brand new content that i upload to my youtube channel as always thanks for watching